Um, in this example, I have 2 7 x equals 3 4 Now, there's two different ways to go out and do this. I'm going to show you the first way, which you might think is going to be a little bit more work. Um, but when solving equations, especially when we get into multi-step and two-step equations, I think eliminating the fraction is the best way to go. You guys might say, oh, OK, well, I can simply do this by, you know, by dividing the fractions. I know how to do that. Or you could add and subtract fractions. You might be comfortable with it now, because that's what we did the first, um, in the last test. But when you get into more complicated problems, I think it's always easier. If you can just eliminate the fractions, it makes life a lot easier. So it's important for you guys to understand why do we have fractions. We have fractions because 4 does not divide into 3. Does that make sense? We have this fraction because 7 does not evenly divide into 2. We can get rid of a fraction if we have a denominator that easily divides into the numerator. right? We don't have to keep this as a fraction. 6 divided by 3, we can just reduce as the whole number 2. So when you have fractions, you need to understand why we have fractions. We have fractions because the denominator does not divide into the numerator. So to get rid of fractions, we just need to figure out what number that we can divide both a 7 and a 4. So we need to determine what we call the LCD. What is the least common denominator, the smallest number that both 7 and 4 divide into? So therefore, I ask Amy, what do you think the least common denominator of 7 and 4 is? 28. If you are, I know, but if I just ask her, I just don't want you guys to shut up. Good point, Nick. Good job. So anyways, um, so if we look at this, again, guys, you can just go through the multiples of 7 and 4. But yeah, the LCD is going to be 28. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this whole equation by 28 everything by 28. Now, let's go and look at happens, what happens when I do that. 28 times 2 sevenths x equals 3 fourths times 28. Does everybody understand how I apply distributive property here? OK. Now, you don't need to actually multiply 28. Because 28 was the least common denominator. You chose, we chose 28 because that was the smallest number that both 7 and 4 divide into, correct? Yes? So guess what? We chose a number that now our denominators divide into. How many times does 7 divide into 28? Four times. So I can simplify that fraction and just write 4. How many times does 4 go into 28? 7. So now I eliminated the fractions because I divided them into the number. 4 times 2 is 8x. 7 times 3 is 21. Divide by 8, divide by 8, x equals 21 eighths. Do you understand how I went from 7 to 28, gave me 4? I just, then you just multiplied across. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 divides into 28 7 times. 3 times 7 is 21. Then I have 8x equals 21. Excuse me, excuse me. I don't know why I'm competing with anybody else. So do you understand how I at least got to this part? Yeah. OK. Now, my variable is being multiplied by 8. So to undo the multiplication, I divide by 8 on both sides. That divides out to 1. And I'm left with x equals 21 over 8. Jamie, yes? Amy, yes? No, sit down, sit down. Let me go over this. You guys are wasting your time. Absolutely. Do you want me to go over that with you? Yes. Because I showed you guys the first way. Shh. I'll give you a second. The reason why I showed this way, Austin, is because when you guys are working through problems, as I mentioned, this isn't as important in this one. But if you guys don't know how to eliminate fractions, I think it will be very difficult to start doing harder problems that we're going to go through with fractions. Because then you're going to be adding, subtracting. You have to find common denominators. It can be sometimes difficult. So when you have fractions, one method to always apply is to get rid of the fractions. How do you get rid of the fractions? Multiply by the LCD. When you multiply by the LCD, your denominators now divide into that LCD number. 
and you can simplify it without fractions. Okay? So this is a longer way to do this problem. However, once we get into multi-step and two-step, this is going to be probably a preferred method. Now let's go over the second way to do it. Yep. Uh, I want to okay. Um, so now let's just go and look at. I'll do it over here, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Going the easier method, I believe, for doing a one-step equation though with fractions is we just need to look at the operation. What is it being applied to our variable? It's being multiplied by. A. Now what is x being multiplied though by? Two sevens. So how do you undo multiplication? Divide. So you'd have to divide by two sevens. However, we don't divide fractions. On the last test, instead of dividing fractions, we had to multiply by the reciprocal. So therefore, the quicker method, Jamie, for this problem would be multiplying by 7 halves on both sides. Any number multiplied by its reciprocal, we know is just going to go to 1. x equals 3 times 7 is 21. 4 times 2 is 8, which is the exact same answer. But again, I want to make sure you understand, it will be very important in solving equations to know how to eliminate fractions. OK? Yes? Now I am finished. Now would be an excellent time to